Hey guys, just thought I'd make a video, haven't I? Oh, I'm just having a tough time. I know I've made just a gazillion videos, but when I when I want to talk, I want to talk, you know, so. Just thought I'd let you look around. This is our downtown area of, of that bar up there. I used to go there all the time, but since COVID, I don't go. And, and then down there, you probably can't see it, but down that way is the one that I still go to. I wear my mask when I'm in there, but I still go there. Uh, I just thought I'd talk for a minute, guys. I just having a tough time mentally. Um, let me set this phone down just a second. I have to scratch my arm. Okay. I mean, you know, guys, I try to... One of the things I used to do, and I've talked about this before, but, you know, one of the things I used to do was to get my mind off things I would you know to get my mind off of you know the situation I'm in and and uh you know my future worrying about that and you know my life not being the best in the world with you know no marriage no family no nothing and just kind of being alone and you know, the ways that I, I dealt with that, the ways that I dealt with trying to get my mind off of it is when I would go out somewhere. Because, oh, by the way, I was in benzo withdrawal. I couldn't go in anywhere, and I couldn't, because it made my symptoms worse, and, uh, you know, crazy crap like that. Um, you know, I had to sit a lot of times in my car or just sit outside and look on a phone. Well, I would look on my phone, and I would look at a lot of political things and history things. Because I, I, I enjoy politics and the news. I like to watch it. Sometimes it's a little tough to swallow, but I did like to do it. But now, every time I see things, if it talks about the word Asian or Chinese, it just pops in my head. My OCD, for some crazy reason, has associated that with my aunt that passed away. And every time I hear the word, it pops in there, and my stomach gets tight, and it just reminds me of it again. And, uh, uh it's so torturous. It's like I just can't, can't get away from things. Obviously, that's something I need to talk to a therapist about, and of course, I can't go. <coughs> Excuse me, somebody mentioned that I should... You know, that maybe Medicaid, since I'm on it, you know, would cover uh, my, you know, going to see a therapist. I'll check it, but it didn't the last time. When I went and saw a therapist several years ago, that's one of the reasons I quit going, because it didn't cover it. Mom was having to pay it, so I, you know, I just quit going. It was too expensive to be going and talking to somebody, but... uh there is a doctor I could go to, but he was the one that prescribed me the pills. And I, I could take his prescription and pretend to take them. You know, just have somebody talk to. But I don't know, this guy doesn't seem to be one that's very good at listening. I don't think he knows anything. He never gave me advice before. It was, take the pill, take the pill, take the pill. And I don't know, I don't want to go to him. Because what's it going to matter if they're not going to help you? Therapy just, just sucks. I mean, it would just help to talk to somebody. I don't need pills, you know, which I'll never take again. I mean, I've been off them for 10 years, 11 years. Now. I'll never take them again, ever. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, just so frustrating. I tell you, if you don't have OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, if you don't have obsessive thinking and things just pop it in your head and you can't get them out and it makes you tense in your stomach, uh, like you're tense. It just, you know, it's like a, almost like a panic attack. If you don't have that, be thankful you don't. It's so frustrating because you can't be happy. You can't get your mind off things. And one of the ways I used to get my mind off things was politics. I loved, you know, listening to the news. and things. It would get my mind off things. Now I can't do that. Really sucks. Just don't know why, you know, 
my life had to be affected this way. I just don't know why last year a day happened to me. And I don't think I would have gone in anywhere if it hadn't have been for that. I don't know. And the fact that I feel like I caused it, I mean, it's just, I don't want to get into all that, but I'm so tired. Just so tired of suffering all the time. Just sick of it. Tired of suffering after 40 years almost. Just tired. It's been a long life, man. I guess that's all I got to say, guys. Just any encouraging words, I'd I'd appreciate it. Just it's about the only therapy I have. I can't go anywhere else. So take care, guys. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.